Why not? Let's talk about it. Parodies. I was known to do parodies as well. If YouTube was made back in the day, I most likely would have had like at least a few parodies on here. The first parody that I don't even remember I did. I don't remember the lyrics I did. I actually did Shaggy. It wasn't me. I made a parody song of that whole entire song, or at least most of it. Too bad I don't even remember the lyrics. It sucks. It seriously does. And then there would just be so many that I'm like, I would do so much more parodies. I mean, seriously. And Mad TV already was doing the work, which I was like, yeah, they were doing the work. I don't really need to do parodies. And well, I think when it came straight down to it, like when YouTube actually was live and growing in 2009, I would actually have made my own music video. The music video would have been crazy. It would have just been a, is a crazy ass dance. And I don't even remember. I don't even know if I really actually got to the point of where I'm like, this is going to be the name of it. Yeah. But it basically would just be named like, this is a rough draft of it. It was called drive by drive by duck. Yes. I know that sounds horrible. It's very horrible. And it would have a crappy dance. And the good news is that I remember the crappy dance. I remember the crappy dance. The only messed up part is that I don't remember any of the lyrics because the lyrics were never finalized. At one point, I had like a decent amount of lyrics and everything, but I never wrote them down. And at that same point, I actually did write like two or three songs that was down. And then I think 2013. <laughs> It's like, yeah, 2000, not 2013. It was more like 2012. I actually did a parody in Spanish. And then I also been wanting to do a parody of Glamorous of Fergie. And that was 2006. It's like, yeah, um, it's so freaking works. And then when I was thinking about him, like making lyrics and stuff, I was like, oh, fuck, it works. Here's a, here's a little sample. So it's like, if you ain't got no money, take your broke, broke home. But of course, I'll be changed. If you ain't got no money, take your broke, broke home. S U P E R M A N. Yes. Yeah. So I'm basically just making sure I'm like, I'm Superman. I'm flying so high. I'm doing so crazy. Like up in the sky, up in the fast lane. I don't care because I'm Superman. Yeah. It's like, yeah, and there's lots more lyrics and not really truly finalized. And heck, I don't even know where the freaking paper was where I actually did a rough draft of it. So, yeah, that's it's like, yeah, I really would have actually have gotten into parodies. I really, really would have. Now, one of the downfalls is one that I was kind of working with someone to make. He was going to do some Lego animations and well, slot motions. And I was going to do the song that um johnny legend did john legend which is all of me versus all of you it's like it for wait, so perfectly that came out at the same time as ultron all of me versus all of you it's like it works all and i think i have the lyrics somewhere over here it's like yeah the lyrics are somewhere in the house it's like yes i was thinking about it i was getting close to the point of where I was going to record it and then do instrumental and then give it to the guy and allow the guy to finish it. But it just fell through because, you know, I just grew uninterested, even though there's like lots of nudges and nudges and nudges. And the person's watching that I was trying to actually work with. Sorry, man. It sucks. Sorry. Sorry about that. Now, one of the ones that's very, very, like, legit, I wish I could do, because it would be so damn funny, would be using childish camp Gambino's This Is America. But the thing is, is that I wouldn't even do a parody song of it. No, no, no. It would just be, like, circumstances, you know, like, shorts. And I w it would be so damn good. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. It's like, all I got to do is just cast a dude. It's like, yes, I can fit the description, but I'd rather have someone else do it. And the someone else will be just walking. He he'll have the same exact pants. He'll be, yeah, without a shirt. I don't know. He has shoes. I was like, oh, fuck it. He doesn't get to have shoes. <laughs> and then you just basically have a nice moment of where you have like a cookout or something. And we just have multiple, a multiple of shorts like that, where the it first starts and it's just like, oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. And 
you of course you have the guys who over there are like what the frick is going on where is this noise what the frick is this going on where's this music coming from it's like who that guy and then all of a sudden you just got a gun up in his hands it's like god just came out of nowhere and this is america this is you know it's like what the fuck okay <laughs> yes and it'll just keep going like that where You'll just have like a door just appear out of nowhere. It's like, oh God, this guy again. It's like, do you think he has a good? I'm not sure. It's like they're like, oh good lord, what the fuck he's gonna do now? And this is a miracle. It's like, what the fuck? Yes, so it just gets on to the point of where it's insane, where it just, it's the same people, or different people, or one person in the group, who knows, maybe we actually go deep dive in this, and eventually it'll be like, oh, there's some kind of curse or something, that's completely stupid as fuck, just because, I don't know, let's go crazy enough to say that, the, the reason why that happened was when they were driving up in the uh, picnic area they actually ran over a cd and guess whose cd was it childish cambino and now it's the curse of childish cambino is upon him and he don't even know how to freaking stop it yeah so it's like the third first third time it's like oh god it's him again it's like oh good lord this is america it's like oh my gosh well he just stopped showing up I have to admit, if I could have done that one, it would be so good. And, of course, I have to do it live action. I can't do it cartoon-wise. Cartoon-wise, yes, we can make it even crazier. Yes, it would be pretty funny. But, on the other hand, I would actually love it to have it live action. To where we just have it multiple times with them doing other stuff, you know? And it just gets insane, gets pretty funny. People are like, what the fuck is this? And why in the world does it keep showing up? And of course, yes, I just figured out the reason why. One reason why. But I would just say for the first few times of doing it, which I thought maybe three and all, and if, you know, it actually really got shown on YouTube, and I put it on YouTube, and people are like millions of freaking watchers. I'm like, oh, fuck, well, let's do another one. <laughs> and we just keep on doing another one, and another one, and another one, until the point of where, you know, not a lot of people care. And if it got very big enough, I'm like, fuck it, let's go to another channel. Let's put it on that channel. That channel is now getting monetized. Hell yes. And now the people responsible is going to get money out of it, including myself. And then the money could actually help fund more shit where it comes to the point of where we can actually go even crazier. You know, it's like, yes, we can finally have like some interesting more stuff. Like, for instance, what if we just, you know, because of Thanos? <laughs> That's a good one. It's like, yeah, we just dated. It was like, oh, frick. This is America. We tripping, dude. And you just freaking get disintegrated. You're like, it's over. Oh, my gosh, it's over. Oh, good Lord, it's over. Yeah, and then the dumbass idiots one year later in the same place again. Somehow they got in the same place. No, it has to be in five years, so that works out nicely. It's like, yeah, we're able to just do that, and then we'll just wait, and in five years, this is America. What the fuck? What? I thought it disappeared. What the fuck is that shit? Uh, it's just, I'm just saying, somehow, how people didn't freaking figure this shit out and actually make a parody like this. I don't fucking know why the hell the world kind of sucks. It's like, yeah, why the world is freaking mad TV. Not as good as it was. It's like, yeah, because CW's a dumbass idiot. And well, Fox is able to do Saturday night shows while CW fuck that shit. It's like, yeah, but Hey, I think that's mostly all the parodies. I actually thought up when I was from when I was little to now of course there's so many more parodies I did so many more parodies heck I think there was also a parody of the girl oh what was the song oh oh yeah baby you're not baby I'm worth it <laughs> yeah I got a good one for that one 
girl, you're not worth it. If you ever say it don't mean shit, <laughs> girl, not worth it. Yeah, you say it don't mean shit. <laughs> That's the only good one I got. It's like it's a good tagline. It's like, yeah, I mean, if I could have, oh my gosh, I would love to have done it. Oh my gosh, the freaking singer would be so pissed the fuck off. And now it's a freaking battle. And it's like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, it's not my fault. You came with that damn song. And I'm just saying, you people who saying I'm worth it, especially in public and crap, it don't mean shit. Because if you have to say you're you're worth it, you don't have to say you're worth it to be worth it. Like, geez, what the fuck? <laughs> many, 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 many other freaking parodies I have done. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the good one that I did for Mario. Um, uh, I forgot this. I forgot who made that song. <laughs> yeah, that song. I actually made a full version of that one, and I send it to the people who make stupid Mario World. Yes, I gave it to Rick, and I was like, use it, okay? I don't care. As long as it actually gets made, I don't care if you give me any freaking credit, because it's actually a well-done version. It's like, I did that from beginning to end. It was a full song, a full actual parody from start to finish, and he ignored it. Oh, my gosh. It's like, yes, you know, it would be awesome not to be ignored or something like that. But it's like, what, the second or no, that was the first time I ever got ignored. And I'm like. It's so damn good. It deserved to be finished. It deserved to be published. And it's like. In the end, it gets to the point of being like, hey, is there anyone out there who actually is an animator, like real full-blown animator, doesn't have nothing to do? I got some projects that you could try. I can even give you that one. All you got to do is just get some rappers, good people who actually can sing, and you'll have a good Mario parody, even though it took so damn long, almost a freaking decade. But even so, it's like, it's still a good song, though. It's like I freaking spent hours making that song. Right now I'm doing another parody and I did like, I did a few more parodies. Like I think Turn Off the Lights, I think I did that one. And that one was basically turned into a snowball fight theme song. <laughs> oh man, me and parodies. The sad part is that I don't have the actual necessary thing to get parodies. Ice One Cube did at one point and it just sucks that it seems like parodies are going out of style and yeah, um, Ducky Awesome. I'm like, frick you guys. <laughs> it's like the worst part has to be the fact of the Katy Perry song, Dark Horse. Me personally, you know what I would do to that song? We we'll just keep that. Yeah, and then at the end it might be wanna play with magic. Shut up. No. That ruins the song. We're not playing that part in there. No. <laughs> that's how that's how the parody will end. We'll just basically just be going on. You know, singing through that. And it's like, yeah, that's all that's all we need. That's all we need. The other part you want to play with magic. It's like, yeah, um, we're going to cut that whole entire part, which shows multiple parts in that song, and just keep, because it deserve it, because it's like, I'm doing justice to the song. I'm not even doing a parody. I'm just doing justice to the song, and I most likely rip it on the song, too, in the song, too. <laughs> Oh, man. But in the end, oh, my gosh, parodies is just going to continue going, man. It's like it's going to continue going. And there's most likely no stop. The only messed up part is besides myself, no one will ever know any of the parodies I ever actually thought up or did or are is written. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's just how it goes. It's like if I had a team, if I had a good, you know, support 
to actually be like, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. We're doing it together and a drive to do it and everything. You guys will get lots and lots of parodies, but well, I think we'll just do with all the, the um, content I have here. Just had to get this out there. Anyways, I'm going to continue watching this reaction of Childish Cambino. But still, that's the most, that's the one that I really regret the most that didn't actually come to light. Who's this person? Oh my gosh, I wish that actually existed. I wish I could actually have made that come true.